Melasma. It is characterized by progressive hyperpigmentation with symmetrical distribution on sun-exposed areas of the body, such as on the face. However, it can also appear on body surfaces that are not exposed to sunlight. The macules are tan to brown, have irregular borders, and are often confluent, forming large patches of hyperpigmentation. The lesions are not associated with pruritus, bleeding, or any other symptoms. Melasma often appears during pregnancy and in patients taking oral contraceptives or hormone replacement therapy. A positive family history and exposure to phototoxic drugs are other supportive findings. The diagnosis is typically made based on the history and appearance of the lesions. If there is some uncertainty, examination under Wood's lab may obviate the diagnosis. In most cases, it is unnecessary to order a biopsy or any laboratory studies. Melasma is not associated with malignant transformation, nor has it been shown to confer an increased risk of skin cancer. Patients should be warned that sunlight exposure may worsen the discoloration and should be instructed on methods of photoprotection, such as wearing a wide-brimmed hat and applying high SPF sunscreen that blocks both UVA and UVB. If the melasma began upon initial treatment with an oral contraceptive or hormone replacement therapy, then this continuation of these medications should be strongly considered. As well, pharmacologic agents considered first line for treating melasma include topical skin lightening agents, such as creams containing hydroxyquinone, tridinoin, and fluocinolone acetonide. Second line therapies, such as chemical peels, are generally reserved for patients with refractory symptoms. Patients need to be counseled that it can take several months for improvement to occur and that recurrence is common following re-exposure to sunlight.